Villa Park High School, home of the Spartans, alma mater of world famous actor Kevin Costner and potential rookie of the year, Angels first baseman Mark Trumbo. Villa Park is 6-0 and and has made their debut in the top 10 in Orange County football just this past week. Hello again, everybody. Welcome to the OCVarsity.com Gridiron Show. I'm Steve Fryer here with Dan Albano and Carlos Arias, and we are at Villa Park High School, and behind us the Spartans are getting ready for a big Century League game against league rival Foothill. Should be a fantastic game. Fellas, we got some good games this week. It is week seven. Let's start out with talking about a pretty big game in the South Coast League, and that's Tribuco Hills at Tesoro. Uh, Tribuco Hills is 0-1 in the league right now. They got beat pretty bad by San Clemente last week. Tesoro has yet to play a league game, and darn, I think this game is the one that may decide who goes to the playoffs and who doesn't out of these these two teams. Dan, what's your fix on this game? Who's going to win this one? I think it's it's a, almost a toss-up. It is. Uh, this is a playoff game. This is a playoff game for third right. place, I believe, in the uh, South Coast League in that you know playoff spot in the Pac-5. My pick's probably going to be uh, you know uh, Tesoro. Uh, Tribuco Hill is coming off a pretty lopsided uh, loss against San Clemente. I think the Mustangs could have used some uh, momentum playing a little bit more competitive against San Clemente. And I think the home uh, field advantage is uh, maybe one uh, area where uh, Tesoro might have the advantage. All right, so you're going with the Titans at Tesoro. Yes, sir. All right, very good. Uh, Carlos, what do you got? Well, okay, Tribuco, I used to think, was a super physical team. Yeah. Great defense. San Clemente blew that all up. But they still have Mitchell Simonson. The, you know, he's one of the best backs in the county. Uh, dangerous playmaker. But I'm taking Tesoro, too, because I, I really think Tesoro has underperformed a little bit in the nine-league portion of the season, but I think they're ready to step it up. Okay, let's go over to another game. Let's just go ahead and talk about Villa Park Foothill, guys. Uh, I like Villa Park. I've seen them play. Tafuna is a very good player. Blair Boyce, a very good, very good quarterback for them. Very physical on defense. They score points as soon as they come out of that bus. Foothill's pretty good. You know, they've won four in a row. They're a pretty hot team right now, but I think Villa Park – to me, is the second best team in that Southwest division behind La Habra. What do you think of this one, Carlos? Well, uh, they got that number one ranking over La Habra, but we all know that La Habra is the best team in the Southwest division. Villa Park's got a lot to prove to La Habra. Um, this is a good, good game for them. Um, I also like Nick Privatelli. Little guy, but man, he's got speed and he's fun to watch. So uh, I'm going with, with Villa Park. I wouldn't say I'm surprised. I'm, I'm proud of where we're at. Yeah. So, um, I don't want to jinx it either. We're just worried about this game here and um, doing the best we can each week. Well, this game's going to be intense. It's going to be really good. Um, they have a lot of good players that we need to watch out for, and uh, hopefully we get that big W and go on to our next game. And you know how you know it's a good rivalry, uh, guys, is when we got here, some guy drives up in this little Villa Park uh, Jeep over here, and he's telling us, oh, are you guys from Foothill here? To you know, that's that's uh, when you're that paranoid, it's a good rivalry. Okay, then let's go to what I think is a big enchilada on the plate this week, fellas, and that is Santa Margarita against Orange Lutheran. Uh, that's at Saddleback College on Friday night. That's where I'll be hanging out doing the Friday night updates. Both these teams lost like last week. Orange Lutheran lost, probably predictably, to Servite. And then uh, Santa Margarita lost to Modern Day. Uh, that's got to be, you know, got to be an upset. I don't care if you do have three stripes or a helmet or what you're thinking. I think that was a bit of an upset. Zan, break it down. Who's going to win? Well, I, my pick's going to be Santa Margarita. And I'll tell you why. I saw Orange Lutheran last week. And, uh, you know, that game was deceptive. I think... Orange Lutheran actually did some pretty good things in that game. Didn't get a lot of points to show for it. Scored with like 25 seconds left. The thing about Orange Lutheran is they have two big things right now they've got to work on is that I don't know where their identity is when they need to get the tough yards. In that game against Servite, they couldn't get them. Fourth down conversions definitely hurt them. And they, they obviously had some alignment issues on defense. They have two pretty big things I think they have to get fixed really quickly. I think Santa Margarita is a physical team just like Servite. They're going to be able to get the tough yards. And I think Santa Margarita will find a way to win this game. It's going to be a very close game. I'm with you on that too, Dan. I think Santa Margarita is the, the superior team. Uh, you know, they miss Craycraft a lot. You know, he's yeah. such a playmaker yeah. for them. Give but them the speed they need. Yeah, it gives them the speed they need. I think they came out kind of flat against Modern Day, which is kind of weird. They got to play with a sense yeah, of urgency sure in this one, yeah. So what do you think of this game, Carlos? You going with us? Margarita's going to win it. Well, you were talking about paranoia, and I was thinking of Bernard Hopkins. It's, it's not paranoia when people really are trying to get you. Exactly. And in the Trinity League, everybody's trying to get everybody, so you should be paranoid in that league. Um, God, this is, I just see it as a toss-up. They're both in, you know, backs against the wall. You know, 
Oh, God, I don't know how to pick this one. Who are you picking? Well, I'm going with Margarita. Now, last week, you picked I Lutheran to beat uh, Servite. Are you sticking with your Lancers, or are you, you jumping over to the Margarita side on this game? You know what? Okay, I'm going to go with Orange Lutheran. I'm, I got to go with them, man. I, I just, you know, I really like that team. Um, you know, losing to Servite is nothing to be ashamed of. They just, you know, dropped the hammer on with Butch Pau, but... But I'm going to go with Orange Lutheran this time. I like the way I put you in the corner on that one. If Bernard Hopkins had done that Saturday night, dot, 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 right? Yeah. Okay, so that's what's going on. That's our, that's our look at uh, some of these Week 7 games. Full slate of exciting football coming up here at Week 7 at OCVarsity.com, where we've got you covered.